But what people don't recognize, and this is perhaps the most important thing I'm going to say today, because a lot of you know there's a problem here, you don't recognize you've got a problem here, which is the water we bathe in and shower in. Now I'll tell moms right now, and I don't want to hedge on this, I don't think that you should be bathing your kids in the tub unless you know that water's clean. Because what ends up happening is the water's got chlorine in it, chloroform, other chemicals and byproducts get into the water. It's warm. That opens up the pores of the child. child bathes in the water. All those chemicals get absorbed through the skin because the skin is very absorptive. And your child, therefore, is being contaminated. So I would suggest that you either clean the water, as we're talking about, and if you're not sure you can't clean it, you should choose shower systems. The shower system also works pretty simply. You can just screw on uh, fil uh, filters here or at the, at the base of the system. And when you shower with water that's been... Uh, uh, cleanse through a carbon filter, it doesn't have a lot of the drying effects that so many of the waters uh, in our community have. One other point I want, I want to mention, if you can't afford to get a carbon filter for your shower, then do the following. Don't put the mister on high, because by doing that you avoid the mist that can be inhaled by you, but also penetrates your skin more. Also, don't shower at very hot temperatures. That also opens up your skin so more of the chemicals can get into you.